This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This is a type of insurance that ensures that your income continues in the event that you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important. So important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. In this video today, I'm going to talk about things to consider when applying to medical school. Applying to medical school can be very stressful, it's very competitive, and sometimes it can be uh, uh, very overwhelming. In this video, basically today, I'm going to talk to you about things that you can do uh, that you can should consider when applying. Uh, number one, I think you need to consider what location that you're applying to. There's medical schools all across the US. Some people wanna be, they wanna stay in a certain area. They wanna stay in Texas or they wanna stay on the East Coast or Northwest. Just try to, or you may not have any preference at all. Just try to narrow it down and figure out what part of the country you wanna be on. Uh, or if you're like myself, I just applied very broadly, like all over. I applied to Northwest, I applied to East Coast, I applied to down south, Texas, Louisiana, uh, California, the West Coast. So that's the first thing you need to do because when it comes to picking the schools that you're going to apply to, it'd be helpful if you have a geographic location or area that you want to apply to. The next thing I would consider is the cost of the medical school. If there was one thing that I would do over again, um, going back through the years, I would say go to a cheaper medical school. Check out my other video about the cheapest medical schools that are out there, and I'll put it right up here. But in general, if you go to a state school or a school that, um, that you're a resident of, say for instance, I'm a resident of Texas, so if I would have stayed and went to a medical school in Texas, the tuition would have been a lot cheaper. Or choose a school that has fairly reasonable prices for tuition. The average medical student comes out with about two hundred dollars to $300,000 in debt. In medical school at Georgetown, I looked on the website the other day, the tuition and fees, housing, came out to about $95,000 per year, which is ridiculous. So. If I had to do it all over again, I would choose a more affordable medical school. And some people say, what about the name of the school? Hey, medical school is medical school. You're gonna learn, they're gonna teach you how to be a doctor. So I think if you go to a cheaper medical school and save $200,000 and just work your butt off, uh, you'll still get into a good residency. It's, it just deals with your step one score, letters of recommendation. So, Think carefully about what medical school you go to based off of price. The next one is if you want to go DO versus MD. Uh, there's a lot of talk about a merger between MD and DO programs. I don't I haven't heard too much more about that, but apparently that's coming down the road. But for now, you have to decide because there's two different application systems, whether you want to apply to DO or MD. In general, if you want to be a doctor, it doesn't really matter if you're MD versus DO. There's slight differences between the approach to their training and also what additional exams that you may need to take. Say, for instance, you're, you're a DO and you're applying to MD programs, you may have to take your MD boards, or some programs may not take DO students like my program, so you have to consider that as well. Next, I would say class size. Um, I was talking to a student recently, he was at an international school, and check out my video about international schools, and I'll put it right up here, what my thoughts are about them, but he said his class was about a thousand people in his class. It's very hard to already get to know your professor in medical school 
on a one-on-one -on -one level. The letter of recommendations, more help, more um, assistance if you need help with concepts, but a thousand people, man. So definitely consider the class size. Generally, smaller classes are better. They allow you to get more one-on-one. -on -one. There's a lot of problem-based learning techniques that are going on in medical school. So definitely consider the class size as well. Next, when you go on your interviews, I would ask them about their board scores as well as their residency match rates. Where did your students match at? What is the average for your board scores? Step one board scores. Most schools will have that readily available to give it to you. So you should consider, you can, should consider asking that as well. So I think those are the most important things that you should consider when applying to medical school. The tuition, location, whether you want to go MD versus DO, step one scores, board scores, and also just a, a, a you want to go to a supportive environment, somewhere where you feel comfortable, somewhere where you can learn uh, for four years that you wouldn't mind spending with your classmates and you feel comfortable being at that location. I think that's important if you're going to be somewhere for that long. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.